Hello, little ghosts, and welcome to Don't Step on My Child. Hood. Hood. I really don't know what we're about to play. Do you want digital sound? Asks the game. I mean, there's some big questions going on here. We've got a sound blaster card detected on our computer. Oh, there's a teeny chance there's, of course, problems if you have less than... I think we've got more than 640k of RAM. You think so? Wait. If you're not aware of this series, Matt and I do a video game podcast called Darth Souls, and we've started talking about... Old games. Oh my god. This, what is my friend, this? this is a piece of history. This is Jill of the Jungle. This is a brilliant game. This okay. was the first game. I thought it was the first game I played, but it can't Wait, be. Wait, did she just emerge from the top of a waterfall? Probably. Oh, a waterfall. Okay. The and... gate opens. God, games are weird. Oh my god. Jill bounds through the boulders. So it's kind of like. It's kind of like... Oh, was that the world select screen? Yes. Okay. You found a knife. Of course I did. Oof. Yeah, that's... She doesn't like... You just like... bled a lot. Not getting much of a jungle vibe. This is more like Jill in the quarry. Yeah, oh, wow. It's this... not... It's more of a kind Matthew. of chill out vibe rather than jungle, isn't it? You've taken it... Matt, you've taken us to peak nonsense video games. Like, this is the video game that if you're making, like, Stranger Things and you need to make a fake video game, this is what you make. It's a woman, there's apples and squares. <laughs> it's like a out. crocodile. I know, right? It's very flat. It's very long. <laughs> and I can throw a knife. Watch this. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, knives in this, I, I think, uh, I remember, are like... <laughs> I kind of like boomerangs. Oh, that's a frog. Frogs hurt you as much as alligators, I think. There's some spikes. Yeah, you do not want to do Watch out spikes. for those spikes, Jill. Oof. Jill's leaping is um, a sight to be seen. Jill enters the jungle. That, that incredible close-up of her face, just briefly, yeah. looking impassive. It's like great. It's narrative. She's sort of a methadone it's, addict. It's filling out. Hi, Jill. Nerves, that's yeah. the last face you see before you die. <laughs> I'm digging the tutorial here, which is like... You'll figure it out, and then every so often it tells you about saving. God, this music is intense. So, you need to answer my question. How old are you? When uh, you I'm this game? 30. Oh no, how old am I uh, when. <laughs> when you were playing Jill of the Jungle? I mean, both those questions are equally difficult for me, to be honest. <laughs> ah, oh, there's bees! Yeah, you need to knife the bees, mate. I don't know Alt. what the knife button is. Alt. Alt. Alt dot bees. Nice. Wait, no, don't take the controls away from me. So, uh, I don't know why my head goes to this question first, but that climbing animation for Jill. Her butt is out. I'm wondering what that meant to you when you were 13. <laughs> and right. then she emerges again from the thing. I didn't, I did notice there that you dodged my question though about her, uh, thong. I, you know what, like... Jill has a great ass. Just, we can all say that now. I've got to be honest. Now we can. Uh, as a child, I, I've got to be honest, I really wasn't thinking about it. I played it when I was about seven. I'll tell you what, when we, when we went and did the first game of the series, which was Fantasy Star Online, I mocked you, but there's something about this. This game has a certain majesty. So you'll mock me for Fantasy Star Online, one, one of the, the, great, one of the greatest great proto games MMOs. ever made. But not Chill of the Jungle. You know what, man? No, really, this game has... Uh, I'm reaching for a word. I want to say jazz. Jazz isn't quite right, but it's like... This game reminds me of nothing more than a programmer freestyling. The second game with this was called, like, Jill Enters the Deep Jungle or something. Like that. It's called... <laughs> It's well, not. you can go you can go a few different ways with a sequel of Jill of the Jungle. But the third game, brilliantly, is, is just it called Jill enters the deep deep jungle. Jill saves the prince. Really? Yeah, which is great. I would have gone with like Jill enters the city for the second game, and then the third it could be Jill enters space. <laughs> that is a big ant. We can't get away from big ants. We should make big ants a recurring theme <laughs> on. Whoa. The thing I loved about these games, right? Tell me, because is it's not coming to me straight away. The sound design, mainly. The sound is astonishing. It was really, like, intense and evocative. Also, the funny thing is, though, like, it's funny how people say, like, you know, a lot of time you have people saying, oh, it's you know, great to see uh, lots of games with female protagonists, etc. <laughs> it's true. This was, in, like, 92, and it was a three-part game. It was part of the shareware thing, which meant that the first game was completely free, so this is the first one. So this was one of the games that really did well for them as a shareware game, and actually, you know, then Epic Mega Games, of course, then went on to become Epic Games. Really? Yeah. This is this is what Gears of War would become. Exactly. And wouldn't it be amazing if, if Gears of War was, in fact, Jill of the Jungle? Imagine a, imagine a modern reboot of this game. Although Jill would probably be, like, rebooted as a character with, like, incredibly weird feelings. Why is Jill so tough? How did she come to be in a jungle? If this got rebooted, we'd need to answer those questions. The great thing is, though, Jill enters the jungle map. We're back in the jungle map. Nice. Don't panic. Have you been listening to the noise it makes when I get a key? What does it say? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it is literally just guys messing around, quite clearly. We'll need to find two gems to enter the dungeon. So that's... Is that the gems right there? Oh, I yeah. see. Jill enters the hut. 
Where are you gonna get these gems from? Wow. Right, see. Yes! <laughs> Come on. That snake is... I'm not wanting to sound weird, but I really like the long, thin enemies in this game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, hitboxes, I guess, are easier to do if they are just, <laughs> just completely one shape. Even, yeah. even the boulder is strangely square. I think that's... I think literally that, it's just a hitbox thing. I want to call that a limitation of the engine, yeah. A big part of this game was timing when you throw the knife. Because, like, yep, you, you I can, can see jump that. And, and... There we are. 35 points, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, a little something that you guys might not know about our recording setup is that Matt and I wear headphones that play the sound of the game. It's very difficult to balance the sound of these old games. <laughs> so you know that feeling where, like, you're in a club and it's all a bit <laughs> too loud? and you can't quite think straight and you just know that you're sad and you would like to leave. That's what we've got going on here. It is a bit loud, isn't it? Do you think that that kind of sugar cube knife thing on the ceiling is going to fall yes, on me? Yes, definitely. It no, doesn't. It doesn't. Psych out. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh! No going back for Jilly. That's what, that's what happened there. I think I went to a new level. Okay. I think I'm in level four now. This is like there are multiple levels inside the hut. I That's can dig it. That's a funny joke, isn't it? Look at that. It's a ghost from Pac-Man. I've got my knife stuck in the wall. Oh no. What a disaster. I like elevators have you seen my intense. inventory? Just has the word Jill. <laughs> they can never take that away from you, Matt. Is you will always be Jill of the jungle. <laughs> it's my, like my library card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a bunch of games in these. Like, <laughs> This one, let's Whoa, start. this is a good puzzle, look at that! That's great, right? I but mean, there was average puzzle. Hey, hey. A, but for this game... Hey, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay. There was a game called Zargon, I think. Okay. Which was kind of similar, but again, like, really evocative in terms of, like, the plotting and stuff. Evocative, okay. I uh, Like, there wasn't really a lot sure. of plot, but it was like, you're a man stranded on an alien planet. And it was called something great, it had a great name, like something like The Mystery of the Blue Builders. The Blue Builders? Yeah. Okay. Which I think is quite a... That's a good name. But for me, my ch a lot of my, my childhood is playing these epic mega game freeware platformers. It's kind of sad, this, because I played this when I was very young and, and naive, and actually, it is a bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> well, you thought this was a perfectly innocent... Well, I didn't really remember much of it. I mean, it's not like super creepy, but it is like... No, it's not, but it is like... There is absolutely a uh, through line in games history from Jill here to Lara Croft. Yeah, there is. And I kind of wish she's she a strong jump. woman with a low cut top, also. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't need no man. She don't need or no man clothes. or bra. <laughs> it's hard, man. I don't take I take your word for it. <laughs> that knife. Oh my god, maybe this is why I hate crabs. Maybe this is why I have this such a problem the, with crabs. Oh my god, this is the origin story of why Matthew Lee's is obsessed hates crabs. with crabs. Hang on, sorry, I've just seen that on the list of buttons on the left, you can press Q to quit, you can save, you can restore, you can noise, and you can turtle. Yeah, let's try some of these things. Let's try turtle. Oh, it goes slow! Now you can do the puzzles with very difficult controls. Oh, that's that's a cool idea, isn't it? Is it? Look now, when you open that door, that ball's gonna roll right I'm out. I'm gonna go into turtle mode for slow mode. Oh, you, oh, oh. you nailed it! Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Anyway, I think that's enough Jill jungle time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but Matthew, we would... Oh. I know, I know, you want to see it, but there are, there are only, I think, about 13, 14 levels in the game. We're only about a third of the way through the, the shareware. Yeah, so much game. Jill to find, see, enjoy, experience. It's getting a bit weird now. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you've enjoyed this, then of course do go and listen to Duff Souls. We're going to turn the nonsense you just saw into an actual discussion about the actual state of games. Yeah, yeah, wow. It's going to involve shareware. It is. It's going to involve 1992. Leotards. Exactly. All three of the things that feature prominently in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, do pop over to coolghost.net and say hello and post a comment if you'd like to say something about this game. Bye! Bye!